All right, we all know it. If you've been on the internet for more than five minutes and you've watched any YouTube videos at all, you've probably heard that you need a Telecaster. Honestly, you've probably heard that a Telecaster is like a pickaxe and you're a serial killer. So you basically, it's a requirement. You gotta have one. But what if they're wrong? What if Jimmy Page is wrong? Do you need a Telecaster to be a real Midwest emo sad boy? I think not. But hey, what what could I, what the fuck what, what the fuck could I even know? I mean, this video is not sponsored by Fender. It's not sponsored by Sweetwater, but I'm open to it. You guys can hit me up. Just say but I'm, I'm probably lying to you because I'm not sponsored. How could I be telling the truth? Well, let's get down to the brass tacks of it. Would we even have American football or Led Zeppelin without the Telecaster? Probably not. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. That is for you to decide. So what's it take? What's it take to be a telly guy? Well, I guess it just depends. What, what do you value in a guitar? What do you want from your guitar? Well, let's go through a checklist. Maybe you're like me. You want versatility, comfort. Obviously, you're gonna want a telly if you want versatility and comfort, right? I mean, who doesn't love the feeling you get when you pick up your four by eight slab of wood? So comfortable, so versatile, versatile. Love that, it's the best. And I mean, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably love wood anyway, so. Maybe the Telecaster is for you, after all. No, but in all seriousness, maybe these things actually are important to you. Maybe you really do want a comfortable guitar. Maybe, maybe you demand that your guitar is comfortable. I would say don't buy a Tele. Get a Strat. There's no reason to get a Tele over a Strat. I mean, granted, the tonal versatility is endless on a Telecaster. It's got two pickups, okay? That's one more than one pickup. So between that and the volume knob, you could do some damage. But seriously, what are we talking about? Why are we? Since when? All right, I gotta stop. When I was coming up and I was learning guitar, okay, there was one thing that I was always taught and it seems like since the rise of the guitar influencer, we've just forgotten everything uh, th from the past. Remember Guitar World magazine? Remember Guitarist magazine? Remember all these publications where we got real information from actual professionals that really played guitar professionally? Didn't think so. My point is, when I started, there was one thing every guitar player did, and that was leave their volume all the way up. You're not gonna get good tone with your volume knob turned all the way down. It's gonna sound muddy. And I mean, maybe, maybe you're a lo-fi guy, okay? You might be. That might be the sound you're going for, okay? Even then, why would you do that from the source? You could do that in a plug-in. You could do that a million different ways. Don't make your guitar sound bad before it even hits the amp. Don't make your guitar sound bad before you even record it. It makes no sense to me. But hey, that's just that's just how I came up. Everybody in the early 2000s and, and the 90s, volume all the way up. Always all the way up because you got a pedal, you got your tube screamer. I, Rhett, hey, Rhett, I love you. You make great videos, but the tube screamer is a great pedal. The tube screamer, you're just, you're wrong. It's the best pedal ever made. And this blues breaker, I, I mean, I get it. You guys are selling gear. You got the hype, it's cool, I don't care. But we don't need more misinformation in the guitar space. Volume all the way up is great. It's awesome. It, leave it, forget it. You, why do you think when you go to see your favorite band, the guitar player has his controls taped 
down. There's a reason why they cover their fucking controls and gaffers tape. It's not because they need the tonal versatility, okay? That's what the fucking pedal board is for. Tonal versatility is at your foot. Imagine you're on stage and you're playing a show and you slip, hit the volume, your volume goes down. I mean, granted, back in the day, Jimmy Page, he was, he was doing volume swells with his pinky, which is sick. We have volume pedals now. They always break though, every time. So maybe bring it back. I don't know. I'm actually, I'm maybe talking myself out of this. I digress. There was a point to this video. Okay, you love wood, you love guitars. Maybe you're like me, maybe maybe you got 50 guitars. Maybe you are maybe you have more guitars, I don't know. Maybe you have less, maybe you want to have 50 guitars. Maybe, maybe you're me and you're starting a YouTube channel to subsidize your buying problem. Maybe YouTube is an excuse to buy more guitars. I don't know, but we can find out. All right, back to the point of this. What what do you want from your guitar? Do you want tuning stability? All right, I have two tellies. Two tellies. It's like two wolves. They're inside of you. One is gay. The other one is gay. You are gay. You love wood. Okay, I love wood. I got two tellies. All right, that's weird. My wife thinks I'm gay because I got two tellies. Okay, well, let's be honest. These two tellies are very different from each other. Say you you want tuning stability. Here's a 50s Ventera reissue telly. It's a cool looking guitar. Looks nice. Looks like it's a vibe, right? And it probably is. But you know what is terrible about this guitar? This bridge is the worst bridge ever designed. This bridge is the worst bridge ever designed. Horrible, horrible, terrible. I mean, granted, it's a 50s reissue. Leo could barely tie his shoes. He was just a baby. He was just learning how to make guitars. He was just a baby carpenter, okay? He wasn't doing all this fancy bridge building. It wasn't like he was making GNLs, you know? A guitar that's good. No, he was just learning. And we're all learning. We're still learning. I'm learning right now. I'm learning that this is a bad guitar. Do you want to buy it? Okay. Because I don't like it. It never stays in tune. The intonation is terrible. I mean, it's not even worth having. If you care about recording, making good songs, using your guitar in a way that, you know, the sound, the the tone, the sound, the, the actual guitar, the way it sounds, if you want an accurate sound, if you want your chords to be right, this is not the guitar for you, okay? No. It's a good guitar though, if you're just chilling around the house, just playing, and you don't care, and it's just for fun, that's a good guitar, okay? If what you play matters, that's not the guitar for you. Next up, all right, if you give a shit about the finer things in life, if you got Louis Vuitton fucking bags, if you, if you like luxury, if you drive a nice car, if you're a blues lawyer, Okay, this is the guitar for you. Hey, even if you're not a blues lawyer, if you're a professional musician, if you record, if you are trying to be a professional musician, if you play gigs, if you play shows, if you want a guitar that is actually good, the American Deluxe, I know they got the Ultra Lux and the, I don't know, they got so many, whatever, the new highest end, uh, the Ultra and Ultra Lux, there's whatever they are. This guitar is amazing. Even if you, if you go buy one of these new, well, you can't. They don't make it anymore. But if you buy it used, I think they go for like a thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks. That's a good deal for a guitar that cost seventeen hundred dollars 10, 15 years ago. Or let's see, I got this in 2009. So seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred dollars in 2009. Now I think the modern equivalent, the Ultra Lux, goes for twenty five. This is an amazing guitar if you want something to stay in tune. This guitar is awesome. The bridge, you can see that. The bridge on this guitar, so much better. It's so much better. But, you know, it took 60 years to figure it out. We got it though. Look at the back, cutaway, comfortable, belly cut. Okay, so you're you're jamming, all right? You're comfortable. You're not you you're not playing a 2x4. Okay? You're not playing a 2x4. This is this is a real guitar. 